First time that I heard about Young Harris, there was kind of like some rumblings that something was coming. Trudy and I had already been talking about uh, potential opportunities to keep working for camp, and she started telling me that the next summer they had this vision of starting a new one week somewhere else. That was like pretty revolutionary at the time because we had done the overnight thing at Mount Berry, but as far as overnight camps go, we were kind of like landlocked. We couldn't grow anymore. A group of us came to Young Harris College. Trudy always told the story of when her mother first walked on campus at Mount Berry and how she felt like that was sacred ground. And for Trudy, I think she had that same experience coming to visit Young Harris. She wanted to open this camp and it really was with the heart of, hey, there are girls out there that we don't have space for right now. and We wanna create a space for them to come and to be able to hear the gospel. This is our opportunity to take what makes Windshape Camps, Windshape Camps, and bring it somewhere else. And we just started dreaming up all of these different elements of what this could look like. And it was also exciting to think about, we're gonna get to make something that hasn't been done before at Windshape Camps. I was only a camper at Young Harris for one summer, but that summer like definitely lit the spark. I just remember taking everything in and being like, this is a whole new world here. Like, it's in the mountains and it has a beautiful view when you look out the windows. You feel like you're really away from everything and you really feel like you can just be present here. The loyalty that they feel to being a Bumbline or a Scotian or a Royalum. So obviously for my shirt, I am a Scotian. Lexia was a Bumble. Yes. I was a Royalum. You know, you play fun water games and you just be silly and I think it shows young girls that you can be a Christian, you can love the Lord, and you can be full of joy and have fun. Like, you never thought it would be this fun. I remember trying rock climbing for the first time here, oh, yeah. and now I teach rock climbing here, so that's been really fun to like come full circle. Being recognized for our differences and uh, things that make us each unique and special and important was something I hadn't experienced before. Trudy is like the hardest working person that any of us know. Trudy has helped me define what a leader is. She has this amazing way of empowering the people that work for her. It was like she never doubted you, even on the days where you were like, I don't know if you picked the right girl. <laughs> she is a servant leader. So at the end of any event, she would be like in the corner deflating an inflatable thing. At pre-camp, she's helping build sheds and drive flags into the ground. And it's something that has impacted me in every season. I think about it daily as I like am entrusted to lead teams even outside of wind shape. Like that's the kind of leader that I want to be. I feel like it has helped shape me into who I aspire to be as a leader. I hope I am now like that to people that work on my team. She's like a waterfall of influence, I think. Being a part of building this camp has impacted me tremendously. I still tell my parents that camp was the best investment they made in my life. It is a unifying thing that my family has. They talk about camp all year. <laughs> <laughs> what keeps me coming back is the community. It's challenged me to interact with people that I wouldn't normally communicate with. Being a camper at Young Harris and having a counselor help me have a new perspective help me become a stronger Christian. I wouldn't be who I am today without staff who loved and cared and poured into me all those years. For me, the hope is that Young Harris is constantly multiplying and getting bigger and growing. I remember a day where um, Marianne and I also were like in the auditorium and we only needed like a few rows of seats, but we like looked at the whole auditorium and we were like, man, one day this place will be full. So I think it's like cool to know that that day is now. Like campers and families like pack out the place for Friday Family Fun Day or for Jumpstart or for Campfire Encounter. I walk around and see the way that they have grown it and made it even better. And because of that, they're serving more and more campers and impacting more and more lives. It feels like we just started it a couple years ago. It feels like I was only here a couple summers ago. Uh, and it's been 10 years since we first rolled onto campus and unpacked. Happy 10 years, Young Harris. Happy 10 year anniversary, Young Harris. Happy anniversary, Young Harris. Happy 10th birthday, Young Harris. Happy, Happy 10, 10 year anniversary, anniversary Young, Young Harris. Harris.